Signal detection theory is a psychological and mathematical framework used to explain how people detect weak signals in the presence of noise. It describes how decisions are made under uncertain conditions, where individuals must distinguish between actual signals and background distractions. Unlike traditional theories of perception, which assume that detection is based solely on the strength of a stimulus, signal detection theory takes into account external noise, personal expectations, and decision-making strategies. This theory is widely used in various fields, including psychology, medicine, and communication, to understand how humans perceive and respond to subtle information. Signal detection theory was developed in the 20th century, originally in the field of radar detection, where operators needed to identify enemy aircraft signals against background noise. Researchers realized that human perception is not just about sensitivity to stimuli, but also about decision-making processes, influenced by experience and risk assessment. The theory was later adapted for psychology and neuroscience to explain how people detect signals in uncertain environments, such as distinguishing a faint sound in a noisy room or recognising important information in a complex setting. A common example of signal detection theory is in medical diagnosis. A doctor examining an x-ray must decide whether a shadow is a sign of disease or just an artefact, balancing the risk of missing an illness against the risk of a false alarm. Another example is a lifeguard watching for signs of distress in a crowded pool, where distractions and movements make it difficult to detect actual emergencies. The theory also applies to everyday situations, such as hearing one's name in a noisy room or spotting a friend in a large crowd. These examples show how decision-making and perception interact in uncertain conditions. One strength of signal detection theory is that it accounts for individual differences in perception and decision-making. It explains why two people might interpret the same situation differently based on their experiences, attention levels, and willingness to take risks. Another strength is that it recognises the role of external noise and uncertainty, making it more realistic than earlier theories that assumed perfect detection. The theory is also flexible, applying to a wide range of real-world situations, from security screening to medical testing, where accurate detection is crucial. Despite its advantages, signal detection theory has some limitations. One weakness is that it relies on mathematical models, which may not always capture the complexity of human perception and behaviour. Another challenge is that it assumes individuals are rational decision makers, when in reality, emotions, biases and fatigue can affect how people detect signals. Additionally, applying the theory in practical settings can be difficult, as real-world situations often involve changing conditions that influence detection accuracy. An alternative to signal detection theory is the threshold model of perception, which suggests that people can only detect a stimulus if it reaches a certain intensity level. Unlike signal detection theory, which considers decision-making and external noise, the threshold model assumes that perception is purely based on stimulus strength. While this approach is simpler, it does not fully explain why people sometimes detect weak signals and miss strong ones. Signal detection theory offers a more detailed explanation by considering both sensory ability and decision-making factors, making it more applicable in uncertain environments.